Hey, welcome back. So today, uh, something totally different, totally random on my channel. Um, I've mentioned on my social media a couple times now that Evil Energy had reached out to me and sent me some products to uh, check out, install, and do some reviews and post some pictures and videos and see what I thought. Well, uh, the one product is a Evil Ener from Evil Energy, an oil catch can. Um, I didn't have an immediate use for that that I thought, um, but you see behind me, it's not my normal uh, Explorer off-road truck. You see my daily driver 2015 Chevy Equinox. So this has the uh, 2.4 liter Ecotec motor, which unfortunately is known for... Um, thin and faulty oil or um, piston rings and it ends up burning a lot of oil and then there's also a weird situation with the pcv valve um, it's not like any of the older style vehicles there's a real small orifice in the air intake and it's known to get clogged up with garbage and junk and uh i'm not gonna go into detail about that but I got that all cleaned out and situated and then I saw a lot of people posting on this same motor whether it be a Equinox or a Terrain or whatever else GM put this motor in uh, installing a catch can because um, there is a lot of vapor and a lot of stuff going on with the small factory PCV um, tube or hose and it's always got junk in it um, condensation and I guess the actual little mechanism, uh, I guess it is a PCB valve, but it's just different. It does freeze up and clog up, and then it causes uh, the rear main seal to blow out or other things. Not going to that hasn't happened to this car yet, but uh, I've been doing some research lately, and it's starting to really scare me. So I was like, you know what? I have an oil catch can from Evil Energy. So let me go ahead and... Clean that little orifice port, which I did. Let's get this um, oil catch can installed. And then that way I'm killing two or three birds with one stone and doing it all right here in the uh, shop. So let me uh, cover what I've done so far. So inside the box, I mean, they give you a ton of different size uh, hose barb fittings, three eighths, half inch, I think a five eighths, O-rings, a breather that goes on top of the can. This is the bottom part of the can that unscrews so you can drain it. It's got a, like a steel wool, um, I guess baffle, you, a baffling material, which is cool. Everything's finished super nice, smooth aluminum. So right now I'm just working on mounting it. And uh, I'm not gonna take 100% credit because I saw a couple of guys on YouTube, mount it here. Um, but they give you a small bracket off the actual can to mount, you know, universally, however fits your vehicle. And then they also give you a long bracket with two sets of holes in it, which the bracket in my case worked out better. And luckily, there's a ton of area in the engine bay right here. So it allowed me to mount it. In an open spot, mount it low. I'm not sure if I should run the um, just the actual um, plug or if I should run the uh, little breather filter. I'm going to do some more research and see on this particular motor if it's a good idea or not. But it's very cool that you have an option of either just plugging it or putting a breather in it if the motor or vehicle you're putting this on does not have a sufficient way to breathe. So you don't have to unscrew the can to check this. It has a built-in dipstick, which is super cool. That way you can check the oil or whatever fluid you're setting this catch can up on. In my case, it's more or less a um, well, it's a PCV valve 
hose, like an oil vapor system. But I've noticed the oil cap has quite a bit of oil uh, condensation inside as well. I just changed oil, uh, I don't know, 500 miles ago or so. So I just started thinking about all this stuff, doing some research, and it's so cool that I had this product here in the shop to quickly install it. So again, whatever vehicle you have or motor, et cetera, it's going to be a little bit different. I have a whole bunch of extra hose just from previous projects. They supply you with uh, a nice piece of uh, 3 8 fuel grade hose. Um, but I quickly found the port on the valve cover is a uh, half inch. So luckily I had a scrap piece of half inch hose fits on there perfectly and then they supply like i said different size barbs so now i'm just going to uh, line this hose up cut it off and then mount it and then there'll be uh, hose clamps on either end and then as far as the other end it's basically like a push port on this on this actual uh, air intake piece on this motor so again, I saw somebody else. I cut the factory hose and left, I don't know, three quarters of an inch sticking out. This is like a 3 8 hose that fit nice and snug inside this 3 8 hose. So that's how I made this connection. And then there'll be a hose uh, clamp there. And then I'll cut this hose to length and mount it on the can. And I figured I'd show real quick. So I left, I guess, about an inch of that on there. And then uh, this hose just slides nicely over it. Nice snug fit. And then with the uh, hose clamp, you're good to go. All right, here's an example. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, let's see. Good, it's light. There is uh, a bunch of nasty stuff inside of here. So <laughs> this catch can is going to help this a ton. All right, I know this is dirty. I'm going to clean all this up when it gets warmer outside. But uh, this is back on, basically for this particular vehicle again, a 2015 Chevy Equinox 2.4 EcoTech. 8 millimeter, 5 sixteenths, either or on the hose. And then there's a hose fitting down here on the throttle body <clears throat> onto those two. And then the back of the box sits on two rubber grommets on two posts. This pops right off. So now I'm going to take this hose and then that pops in right here. And then I will uh, see how long I need, cut it off. And then connect. All right, so previously you guys didn't catch me. I forgot to put that cover on first. <laughs> no big deal. I did have to, um, it's hard to see now. Uh, let me get my light. I did grind. There was already a little radius there, but I had to open it up just a little bit more just because uh, this half-inch hose is way thicker than the factory one. But no big deal. So, super clean install. Fits perfectly in this vehicle, just like so. Easy hose routing. And uh, hopefully this takes care of uh, a lot of issues on top of that orifice fix that I did. All right, thanks for checking out the video. Um, again, Shout out to Evil Energy for reaching out to me, supplying me um, with this product, this uh, oil catch can. Easy install, super universal for, I would think, virtually any vehicle or motor setup. Um, tons of uh, fittings and extra stuff, hose, uh, the hose clamps, everything comes with the kit. And it uh, just makes it really simple and easy. And it looks nice too, nice aluminum finish. So if you guys uh, want to pick one up for yourself or any of the other Evil Energy products, uh, check out Evil Energy's website. And then uh, I have a discount code. It will save you 10%.
uh, BWE10. Um, I'll post it up here somewhere. But uh, again, thanks again, checking it out. 2015 Chevy Equinox 2.4 Ecotech motor now has a catch can system. All right, thanks for watching.